Hi there. <coughs> um, I'm just stopping stopping by. Um, I'm going to draw the uh, December Patreon. I've tried to do um, a live video on Facebook um, and this new phone doesn't seem to be uh, doing it. So instead of getting stressed out, I'll just, I'll just put it on YouTube. Uh, it saves, saves a lot to messing about. And then I thought we can um i've got a few updates and, and things like that so why i'm talking i might as well <coughs> uh, put the names in uh the teapot so these are uh, my patreons uh, who was patreons in the month of december so thank you very much to them for supporting me i think that was johnny uh carlo i must start ripping those sticky bits off because when i'm or put them in, ah, I'm going to put them inside because then they stick um, <clears throat> to to each other and then I end up picking uh, multiples out and, and things. So this one's uh, Sharon Miller. Put it inside. And you're probably thinking, why don't you do this off screen? Well, I just want um, the people to know who's, who's it, you know, in, in the drawer. So this is uh, Wendy Parker. Ah, oh, that's a lot better. It's just a little bit fiddly. Jennifer Anthony. There's a couple of people um, in Patreon whose um, payments have been declined uh, the last couple of months. I'm not sure if you're aware or not, but um, if you have a new uh, Shelley Dratch, um, if you have a, a new card, um, you have to re-do um, it. C Colleen Terra. So if you're thinking, oh, why isn't my name not in? That might be the reason. Uh, Laurie Arna, Arna, sorry. Carol Beading. So it's pick your own prize again. If you get picked out, then please message me uh, in Patreon with it being um, a Patreon um, thing. And um, let me know which one of the prizes you want. Uh, that was Susan Yarwood, wasn't it? Uh, Janet Ade, Kim Kim. I always want to do some chair chair leading when I see your uh, name, Kim A. Uh, Miss Day, Alison Pascal, Terry Gifford, Megan Bateman, Edith Kirk. Uh, Alison Riley. So, if you uh, win, then please uh, get in oh, get in touch with me. I will hold the prize for the whole uh, month. I'll give you, you know, the whole month to to get in touch. If I, if I don't hear back from you, then it will go back into the uh, prize pool. So this month it is uh, the country diary of an Edwardian lady, a dress book, and birthday book. That's brand brand new. Uh, the books are uh, second hand, so this is the Nature Diary of an Artist, um, a floral ABC. This is a beautiful book. I'm going to say I've bought myself a copy of this one. Uh, Flower Fairies of the Seasons and this uh, Stamperia stencil. So whichever one gets uh, picked, then that won't be in the drawer next month and it will be replaced with uh, the Country Diary 10 blank note cards. And these are fab. There's two different uh, designs. So, I mean, you can use those as um, cards or make them into little, little notebooks. So that's those. So they'll be going in uh, the following month if you want to become uh, a member of patreon um the link will be down below uh, there's different tiers uh, to be in the prize draw it's tier two and uh over so without further ado <laughs> let's um let's give the the edith olden teapot a, a good shaky shaky so thank you again for supporting me um in the month of december uh, I really do appreciate it. And that, without your support, you know, I wouldn't be able to, to video 
uh, every every single every single day because I'd have to be out at work. So thank you so much. So I'm gonna <laughs> use the tweezers and um oh I had one. Oh, it's so difficult. It's like hook a duck. Like blindfolded because I'm not even looking looking in there. So let's have a look. Oh, it's Misty. Congratulations, Misty. So if you want to uh, message me on Patreon and let me know uh, which gift you want, um, just put your address on there as well, just in case, um, you know, sometimes people join these things and they've put an address in and they've moved house um, since. So I don't want to go off, you know, the address what's, what's in there. So congratulations, Misty. You are my uh, December... Um, supporter winner i shall leave that there to to remind me so super thank you very much right so that is that done um on monday justine started uh the tatted treasure and friends uh new challenge off which is uh finishing the unfinished uh my video has gone gone up today there will be a link to uh justine's video um as there's a link to all uh, the mods and admin in the group uh, because they'll be all uh, participating through through the month so that is that I um oh I got my Edith Holden tag book uh, finish which you know if you've been with me a while you'll you'll know it, it it was a difficult one to to finish but um yeah I really did want to want to get it finished so I thought um instead of leaving it till the end so possibly I might run out of time and all the rest of it because I do things like that um avoid things that I don't want to want to do or think about um so I've started <laughs> what else have I got to tell you Oh, the planner video. Um, I'm going to have to make some changes in the next video because, you know, life happens, doesn't it? And um, plans change this week. So um, I'm going to have to cover things up um, and uh, rewrite things in, which I actually thought was a good, um, a good thing to video because... I've had a few comments saying, oh, um, you know, I don't write in, in a book. And this isn't just, you know, planners. This is journals. You know, you don't want to ruin it. You don't want to write something and you get the wrong spelling or it's scruffy or, I don't know, your pen malfunctions or um, something like that. So it stops you from, from actually putting the pen to paper. I mean, one of the things you could do is use a pencil and you could rub it out. And I've got some of those friction pens which you can uh, rub out, but... The, you wouldn't be able to rub them out on delicate um, things. So I thought it would be a good exercise to, like, let's think about ways that we can cover um, these things over um, and be able to rewrite it out. So I'm going to do a video on that. And then we obviously need to um, <clears throat> do the following week. I somehow need to get in front because obviously... I did this and then the week started. Well, that's not <clears throat> not really working uh, for me because how can I plan, you know, in a fortnight's time when something new is happening? How can I plan for that? Um, be, and then this is really a diary or a daily. Um, so we do need to get in, in front. Um, I think like Rita and um, Denise... They have, like, got in front. I think they're near enough ready to start uh, February. Oh, and I must add, the lovely Dee from Dee's Crafty Place is also uh, joining in with us. And um, Dee's link will be in the description of uh, the planner videos too. So I did uh, spot that. I've put a playlist up as well with all of us in it. So, um, you know, you can... Um, have a look at the actual playlist so yeah I thought so Sunday there's going to be two videos one um, you know correcting 
not mistakes, correcting uh, changes. Because, uh, you know, you write things down. Well, the dentist might ring me and cancel. Uh, like, things change, don't they? That, you know, that's how, how things are. So we'll do that. And then I'm hoping to probably quickly, like, do two, well, do all the next weeks just doing you know this and then i think like the following week we'll look back at the way that that i did use it um because i want to be able to look back to to you know keep thinking right that didn't work for me or that did work for me so you know i'm i'm new to it and um yeah i want to find a way that um is going to work work for me so that's the planner. We've talked about the challenge. We've done the Patreon. Um, the freebies for the Facebook group have been put on Buy Me A Coffee now. And the freebies um, are up on Patreon. So that's freebies. Um, I've just started uh, the blue... The blue journals. <laughs> the first two of the blue journals. So... Um, you'll see these videos in, I think, starting tomorrow. So I think they'll be like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday videos. And then Saturday is going to be Tim Holtz. Um, and Sunday is going to be Planner. Um, yeah. So I filmed filmed uh, this week of so that one. Um, today I'm actually going to start filming um, the Tim, Tim Holtz ones. I've just got... Um, this is, you know, the start. I'm at, at the very uh, start. So, um, yeah, I'm going to film that. Um, the movie on Monday, everybody seemed to enjoy that. And you said that you didn't mind uh, the two videos. Because this pot, this plastic tub I've got is, you know, like this. And um, it's full of that kind of stuff and packaging and all the rest of it so i've got that tub and i've got another tub what's got like you know like amazon packaging what i've saved to do covers um you know when i've messed about with uh f file folders and you know, and i've never done anything with so i've got a whole tub of those as well um and i could really use those tubs for something something else so that's kind of my um i'm gonna try and get those um empty empty right i think i think that's all i've got to tell you um but yeah i thought i'd just nip on um and and do the draw sorry if you was waiting for it yesterday like i say m my plans changed um and then when I got home, I felt, I felt so poorly. Um, I had the, well, I had the flu jab and then the week after I had the booster um, jab. Um, I was in bed for two days and then I had two days of just, you know, shuffling, shuffling around. Um, and then I went out yesterday because it was my auntie's 60th birthday. Um and then um yeah when i came back i was really poorly so i went straight straight to bed i don't feel too bad today so um yeah i don't know what the point of that bit was i'm sure i was gonna yeah that's it <laughs> so so yeah everything's upside down and topsy-turvy and obviously because it's the beginning of the month and i've got these um projects to you know get my teeth into um i feel like it's um it's held me up slightly not not really but but i'd like to be i'm all, well i'm never satisfied <laughs> i'd always like to be like to be uh further in front um than than what i am because you know then if i do get poorly and stuff um there's still uh videos going going out and um it's nice because obviously i can be laying in bed in that and i'm still you know chatting to everybody because i've already pre pre-filmed them so it's um a bit of company for me on um on days when when i'm not very very well so yeah i don't know if you've noticed that i've not been around as much at my uh comments have probably been shorter if i've watched your videos i've either not commented or i've not said said a lot i've not been in the group very much um <clears throat> so yeah that's that's what's going going off just really uh fatigued and and run down uh with 
with having those two two jabs and i think there's all sorts of bugs and stomach bugs and you know this that and the other so and i guess you know i've not been mixing with people so um obviously now i've started to go out and about a bit um um yeah i i guess you know i'm gonna pick this this that and the other up like like a lot of us uh are so i'm going now thank you for joining me like i say just a little um catch up and um i will see you tomorrow for um the start of of the blue journals i can't wait to um for you to see them um yeah i'm loving them so far so thanks for joining me and i'll see you very soon bye actually <laughs> i'm gonna have to join these videos together just wanted to do a, a quick little what i've bought um because then i can put them put them away because i've just put them in a basket so <clears throat> these are things what um i did get an amazon uh gift voucher for christmas and um you know i got some buy me a coffee um money so i i put that kind of money you know back into buying uh, materials and stuff for for exciting videos and just you know for the visual um aspect really um so i just wanted to show you what what had come so so far so i've had these um washi tapes which i absolutely love i've had my eyes on these for a long time um Look at this. I love this at the side. Might save that box. Well, I am going to save it. There's no might about it. I'm definitely saving it. Um, so they're all blues, browns, and I suppose a little bit uh, greeny. But, um, yeah. It's like plain, plain blue. My fingers aren't that big. <laughs> That would have been weird if I did a carried carried on. Oh, <laughs> um, and then these ones I really love these uh, brownie um, with with a touch of teal in them, and then yeah, I got some brown ones. Um, it really remind me of Nanine these do, and then some some. Um, yeah, that's nice. I, I do love Paisley. So I've had those. I did have them off Amazon. I've seen them on AliExpress. <coughs> um, but um, yeah, I had them from, from Amazon. All these things I have put on my uh, Amazon favourites. So um, <coughs> if you wanted to purchase them or if you wanted to, because if you're in a different country, obviously, um, well, I don't think you can purchase from from mine but obviously you can see what what they're called and then put that into your own search bar to to find them so that is those i'm just gonna get my tub out well actually i'm gonna i need some of these for my project no i don't i've already i've already put some washi tapes aside uh and then i had uh these ones which i've had these type uh before and i really like these for collage um, I want a really dark green one and I've seen people use it but when I've gone to look at them there's only ever the light green uh, so I've got this lovely same is that a periwinkle uh, blue would you call it it's very like bluebells kind of blue and then we've got this tan and this navy so again they're on my um, Amazon link I must say it is an affiliate link if you do buy something from my um from my you know storefront um i do make a small commission if you buy something after visiting my storefront so if you look at my store and then you search amazon you know um, for something else then I would still make <laughs> a, a very small commission but you know it, I still make uh, something so you know what I might not say, well I was thinking I might save this to actually put things in but I think I'm actually going to cut this down and and use 
use these. <coughs> so, you know where that's going, don't you? In <laughs> in that pile that I said, oh, I need to get that pile um, <laughs> down. So, yeah, that's going in there. So, that's that one. And then I've had some uh, more hemp cord. I've had this before and I had some different uh, colours. Um, I really do love... Um, this hemp cord it's very very nice again this is from from amazon i think this was called like bronzes or something yeah this is bronze and this one is cameo camo so just my uh colors i thought i'd ordered a blue one but um i obviously didn't but I'd, I would like um, a blue one, so I might actually go back on there. But um, yeah, that was my the first one that I had, and that was earthy. So I've only got, got a bit left. So very nice. That can go with my strings and things. <laughs> um, I've I've wanted this for ages. It's been on my um, Amazon gift list, gift, <laughs> gift list for oh ages and ages and you know i've gone to buy it and then thought no no um and then i don't know they seem to have gone pretty cheap um so they're not like reduced it's just as if the the prices just fell um i suppose the things now that maybe a lot of people have got there was a big you know fad kind of thing um and then, you know, they don't sell as well, do they? Because the people who want them have got them. Um, so I think they've just naturally uh, put the price down. So I'm going to say sometimes you're best not, not rushing out and getting these um, new... Um, what do you call them? New <coughs> toys. Oh gosh, sorry. That is so loud. I don't know if you get um, a roll with it. I didn't buy myself any rolls. I didn't think. Oh yeah, you must get one. One inside. So, is there any instructions? Or is it just... Just work it out yourself, turn you? Remove the tape from device. Oh, that's... Printer issue. Oh, instructions. Right, I'll save those and give those a quick, quick look at. So, yes, um, I've got one. <laughs> so, yeah, I can't wait to use that. I think I'm going to get some, like, bronze uh, coloured ones and, and things. And I don't know if they do a brown. So, yeah, that'll be uh, cool for labels and things. So that can live with my punches. Um, I've had some stencils because I want to do some stuff with um you know that that stuff that pasty stuff i forget what it's called so i've got that one i'm gonna keep these in the packet as well um that one what do you call it when you do that um i forgot what the stuff's called the stuff's coming from uh scrapbooking.com um, I think that's the only thing now that I'm waiting for. I did do a little order from scrapbooking.com because I just can't help myself. That one and that one. Because I really want to, um, you know, develop more this year in backgrounds um, and, you know, my knowledge of, of that and get to know a few different uh, mediums. Um because yeah, I'm a, I'm a little bit clueless about it all and and stuff. So, um, oh my goodness, I think I'll just keep them in the plastic. I don't need the card, do I? But I'm just going to use these for the paste. I'm not going to use them uh, with inks. So yeah, these are just going to be for that. And I did buy this ages ago, which was a really uh, cheap one from. Um, AliExpress which has got all different patterns on and I'm just going to use that one as well so I think that'll be uh, a good a good start and I've ordered some palette knives as well they're coming from scrapbooking.com so that's uh, those again they're from uh, Amazon 
and they're on my favourites. I think that's it. So yeah, I've got that basket <laughs> basket empty again. I thought I might as well um show you. Oh, there is something else which I did get from Amazon. Now I watched um a video from Tina um last week and she was using a beautiful book and I asked her um where it you know who it was and she told me and um I don't I don't think you're gonna be able to see how humongous this is. Well there's a volume one and a volume two and uh, these books new are fifty pounds each. Fifty pounds um and I was very very lucky and I got um both of the books for just over ten pounds um from from Amazon. So they're the Botanical Garden volume one and two. Um now they are a bit glossy and they are white so i i i am <laughs> i'm hoping that um I, I can i'd like to try clear gesso that's something I, i've not tried so i'm thinking about that i'm thinking oh, look at that i love that um i'm also thinking about um tea staining some of them see seeing how that goes um but yeah these are going to be absolutely brilliant so i will um go through the I, I don't did you see them yeah you did um there's going to be lots to cut out and and things like like that um i mean tina was using the whole um actual page and and making uh things with them and they look beautiful so I thought, yeah, they just up my street. But she did say, like, they are a little bit glossy. They're not. They are and they're not. And she said the same thing. And I, I thought, what do you mean by that? But, yeah, they are. They feel glossy. But they've not really got a shine um, on them. So I'm hoping that they do tea stain. So I will do uh, a proper flip through of them and um, do it as one of my uh, lazy Sunday uh, book flip throughs it, it'll probably be a long one well I could do it volume one and then volume two so that's what um I've had so I've spent all my money now <laughs> I'm just waiting like say for scrapbook.com uh, and um yeah and that's it so I'm going need to join these videos together now so again thank you for joining me and I shall see you tomorrow bye for now Okay, <clears throat> I've put all those away and I am tidy. So, what did we say this was? Did we say it was 14, 12, 13, 14? So, with this only going to 12, I don't know if it's 14 exactly. So, what I do is try and meet it. And when you try and meet it, there will be bits sticking out what aren't uh, straight. And you can always... Uh, trim that off and straighten it so I'm not pushing all the way down I'm just doing it slightly so I can see um, <clears throat> where the middle is so I've got my big scoreboard out and I'm going to go a quarter of an inch uh, each side aren't I let's do it that way so that's going to be our thingy our middle is that dead on seven yes yeah, so it was dead on 14 well that's handy to to know um i don't like scoring from from that side <coughs> i'm not good at centimeters there's too many of them right so i'm going to go a quarter of an inch and i'm make sure it's butt up I'm going to press on, you know, quite, quite severely. <laughs> can't think of another word. I'm going to press on really firm. I think that's the word. Okay, up and down now. Then I'm going to go a quarter this side. So then we've got a half inch spine 
yeah i'm gonna turn it over and i'm gonna do the same again Okay, okay, that is that. Oh, so I'm just gonna push my fingers right into that groove score line. So let's do the other side. Like right, so. Okay, let me get my um bone fold up. Good, good old burnish. Same with this side. <clears throat> okay, so that is is that. So now I'm going to cut either um, side. I don't know if I'd be best instead of cutting like I was doing right. Oh my goodness, keep still. Um, the last time I cut it, I cut it like that way, and obviously it makes it a little bit bumpy. I'm wondering if I should just go across uh, the edge. Thing is, I'm not very good at keeping keeping steady. So all I want to do is go to that first score mark, okay, so that's that, <laughs> turn it, I'm going to turn it this way. Okay, so that is that side. <laughs> now, I don't know if I should probably glue that down now um, <clears throat> because otherwise it's going to keep going wonky wonky, isn't it? And um, <laughs> it may tear, I suppose. Do I need to keep it open for anything else? I don't think so. So I'm going to get that um, down. No, I don't want that that way. I want it that way. So I'm going to get the um, fabric tag. So whatever I do to this one on video, I will do to the other one off screen. So we've always got, you know, them both at the same, same uh, part. And the good thing about doing two is, yes, it takes more time and more preparation and more thought, but <clears throat> I might find, well, I will find things that, oh, now I've done that, I could have done, done that. So you can always make improvements. Uh, well, not always. On, on certain things, you'll be able to make improvements. So it will give me that chance uh, to do it because... You know, you could think, well, you could do that the next time you made one. Well, I'd forget, you know. <laughs> Let's not try and <laughs> try and fool anybody. I, I'd totally forget. Um, and, I mean, that's, you know, one of the reasons why I always do the folios different. Um, because, yeah, I don't... I, I remember the main uh, part of it. But, um, you know, all the little bits and bobs, I, I totally, totally forget. So that is that, that'll give it a bit more uh, stability. So I think we're fine uh, up to now. So the front's gonna have all material on. I did say about putting it on a mat, so you would see uh, part of it. So I'm now going to go all around everything 
um, and ink it. I am going to use, let's get the walnut stain uh, back out. So that's that. And I'm going to ink the sides and I will also do some stenciling. So anything that isn't totally covered um, will have something uh, on there. And the stencil that I'm going to use is that one. Going to put that with them. Um, if you saw my latest, um, you know what I bought with my Christmas money. Um, I've got some stencils um, to do some textured things, um, and I want to keep them separate from my other stencils. So I'm gonna keep that in there. I'd like the Tim Holtz uh, <coughs> Bart one because that was just a you know a cheap one, which it's it's not great. Right, so, put those back on, put that over there. So I'll start off and then I'm going to finish this video and when we come back I will have two folders which have both been inked all the way around and stenciled um, all the way round now the only thing that i'm really thinking about now is i know i'm going to put the first two panels in on the next video that one and that one because they was ones that nothing needed to to tuck um you know over as a flip or anything so i know that i can lay uh, the first two in this um more i don't know what to call it i don't want to call it yellow um mustard and brown yeah i'll call it the mustard and brown one and the other one i'll refer to it as the bird one um so i'm thinking do i lay them down and then sew around the panels or do i sew around the panels first and then stick them down now i'm using the paper that i'm lining it with it's that um, die cuts with a view. It's called the Heirloom Stack. That is in my uh, Amazon um, favourites. Now, for anyone in the UK, you'll think, oh my goodness, that is so expensive because the postage on it, it's from America, is pretty expensive. But I, I have used that pad quite, quite a lot. Um, <coughs> and I've used it in most Tim Holtz projects that I've done. Um, it's going to last forever. I think you get 180 sheets or something uh, like that. It, it's massive. Um, so, it, if it's the kind... If, and if you think, well, if I'd have used all Tim Holtz papers to back it in, um, I'd, I'd go through a pad. Because uh, you've got to think, you know, you've got the 6 by 6s in the pads uh, and the two small sizes. So you don't get that many sheets um, in a Tim Holtz pad. So for, um, I mean, you could want to do it the other way around and make your ephemera with with a different pad and back it with the Tim Holtz or the way that I do it is make the pieces with the Tim Holtz because they're sturdy, uh, they're double-sided. Um, but yeah, I think then it saves on on uh, having to keep buying Tim Holtz and um, yeah they're getting quite hard to to get your hands on um, here so in fact I'm gonna buy another wallflower I've, I've gone off the front of the wallflower they're so iconic now the pictures you know the bird and um, the, the big botanicals but I would like to actually use the backs of of those ones because Obviously, when you get a pad for the first time, I think I've had three of those. Um, I've been really excited to use the main um, images, but because I've, you know, used them a few times now, I'm not that that bothered. Um, I would like to actually use the back images, and there's some really nice um, 
backgrounds in in them so i'm thinking I, they're still quite available on amazon so i might get myself one of them and just put it away um like probably be the end of the year again when i do uh tim holtz i tend to do do it at the beginning of the year and the end of the year i don't know why um that's just normally when i feel feel like i want to do tim holtz <laughs> Um, I spend most of spring and summer doing doing botanicals because um, as soon as I get an opportunity to get green stuff out, I'm I'm all over it. But then I do I do like to go back to to the brown. So I've inked all that and I haven't because I forgot these inside. Yeah, see now there's a lot more uh, to this than than the water bin. I think this is going to turn out okay, and I'm going to wonder why why i put it off um and didn't try it before but um and that's another reason why i do like keep doing the folios because oh, there's just so many ways um to to do them and yeah they just for me they just give you that freedom to be able to use uh flips and and stuff where you know in a journal you can probably only put a couple unless um you know you're making massive um journals which you know i've not moved on to to, to doing uh that yet mainly really one signature um i've made the odd uh, one with with more than one signature the amazon packaging one i did that had three signatures uh but i found it very very daunting so i kind of dipped my toe in and then um you know i'll revisit it again and then um, you find then the second time round you, you're a bit more confident. So I am going to do another Amazon um, journal. And perhaps when I've done another one of those, I'll be like, oh yeah, I can make any type of, um, you know, multi-signature multi uh, journal. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of, yeah, I suppose I'm not that daring. I suppose that's what I'm trying to say. Um, and I think with doing it on camera as well, it's like, well, I don't mind failing. It's not even failing. Um, I don't mind getting it wrong. Um, but obviously, I really don't want to do something in it all fall to bits. Um, because, you know, if anybody started uh, following me doing it, um, they were like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> this has just fell apart this this one no kind of tutorial um so yeah it makes you a little bit like oof, best um you know proceed with with caution uh type thing so that page is a little bit wonky see i suppose really i should trim trim the pages down to make no because if i trim them down it's going to make it off this side so it's just, I guess it's just one of those things, isn't it? I don't think once it's uh, covered in paper that, that you're going to notice. So yes, I've now done all the ink and so I'm going to go around it with a stencil and I'm just going to go, you know, about an inch all the way uh, round. So we'll call that a video. I will be back later today and we'll start um, a, bit, a bit more of it. This will probably take quite a while um, because I'm only doing... Um, I might occasionally do a Tim Holtz video on a Sunday, uh, but for now I'm just doing them on the Saturday. As I get through the blue um, things, I might be able to do the Tim Holtz on the Friday and the Saturday, but I've got more blue things to to get through at the at the moment. So, so yes, we've only got a little spot at the minute for for these projects. So yeah, it might seem like I'm I'm doing it for for weeks, um, but that's only because. You know, I've just not got the, the filming uh, spot. So I thought if I do it on the Saturday, it, at least then I can do two videos because there's a lot more people around watching things at the weekend. Um, <clears throat> and then, see, this week I'm going to have to do two two planner videos. I suppose once I've got in front with the planner uh, videos, I will only have to do, do the one. So... I'm hoping then to create another spot for for Timmy um, on the Sunday, which will obviously move it move it along um, a little bit bit more.
So shall I say bye now? Because um, I'm just like, don't leave me, don't leave me. <laughs> Please stay with me while I'm doing this because it's so, it's a bit boring, isn't it? <laughs> it's a bit boring, it really is. So I don't know if I might do some stamping. Um, I'll probably, I don't think I will. Normally I will then uh, stamp because you don't seem to get everything um, with the stencil. But I do like it if you see, you know, if your papers don't quite come. Sometimes I've done it and you think, why did you bother? Like, you've not, you can't even see it. Um, but I just think if, if this part's done, if you've cut your papers too short or something like that, um, it's not going to then be, be too much of a problem because there's something something behind it um, anyway. And it's... It, it won't be as obvious right i'm gonna go because i bet you're bored um out of your mind i'll see you later and we'll have two uh folders um you know at this point so see you in a bit bye